Well, we're also just talking about fine margins, Josh, there. I mean, you get the equaliser and then they're back in front inside a few minutes. I mean, you had enough chances in the game to win, so I'm sure. Yeah, I think we, we had plenty of chances in the game to, um, to win it. I think um, once we get that goal, maybe we need to manage that next five minutes a bit better. Um, just get through that and then and then push on again because I think the longer that game went on and if it was 1-1 I think we'd have created even more chances than what we did so um, yeah it was a bit of a sloppy goal to concede after scoring but um, I think we'd done enough in the game to get something You have to be very patient at the moment I mean you came out with barrel late on and sort of inches away from, from getting the equaliser there you come on today and straight away you make an impact I mean that says a lot about your character and your, your, how you want to do well when you get on the pitch yeah, um, like you say, I think after last season, I wanted to this season push on again, and um, I've had to be patient. Obviously, the injury came, and they obviously changed, changed the team around, and they were doing well. And there's nothing you can do. You have to just admire the fact that the team's doing well and keep supporting them. Um, and when you get the chance to come on, obviously, do your best to try and try and affect the game. And I feel like I have done that when I've came on. Um, most games I've came on, I feel like I've, I've made an impact. So um, yeah, look, I, I want to be playing games. I want to be starting games, but. If I'm coming off the bench like today, I, I just hope I can can just keep contributing. Because given where the, the the team were, you know, sort of you know, flirting with the bottom two mm -hmm. for so long, without you being together as a unit, mm -hmm. you know, supporting each other and, and making sure when you get your chance, you make an impact, you wouldn't have got to where you are on the table now. No, that's hundred percent. Um, like you said, to get, we're all together. We've got a big squad. There's even lads getting left out of the squad that 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 could be in the League Two team. So look, it's 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 about sticking together. We've done that. We've put, we've got away from where we were. Um, and like you say, for the last games of the season, now we've got to keep just pushing together. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all the Tramway fans know about your ability, you know, Josh. But I mean, the mental side of things when you're not in the team. I mean, just how difficult is that to, to, to keep going? Um, yeah, it's very difficult because I believe in my ability and I believe that I can I can be playing League Two in higher, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's, like you say, it's, you, sometimes you've got to accept that the team's doing well, and when you when you have to when you when you're called upon to come on, you've got to be ready. Um, the gaffer always says, be ready when. When you least expect it, your chance will come. So, look at yeah. Every time I've come on, I feel like I've done I've done something. So, um, yeah. Well, long may it continue. Yeah, I, mean, I think your professionalism sort of shows through in terms of that, and that, that, that's a good thing to show. I think you know your character to make sure that works. And I can see your celebrations then when you scored. It's it's almost like a relief. You know, I've not played for too long, and now I've got a goal. That's, that's brilliant. The fans really loved it. Yeah, like you say, it's um, you you perform each week for the fans. You want you want to do well and. Um, yeah, I, I, I class myself as a good professional. Um, even when I'm not in the team, I'm still doing things right, um, which I think shows when when I do come on. Because if you're not doing thing doing things right, you think you can be sloppy. Um, but yeah, it's I'm just glad to obviously to get the goal. But I think we, hopefully next time we can get a better result from it. Yeah, I mean you're in a position now. It's, it's quite tight in the middle of the table, isn't it? You know, you get another decent run together, and there's no reason why you, sh you shouldn't be aiming to top ten in this division. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you say, like the lads, the lads in there all think that we could, we can achieve something this season. Um, obviously, we could have done with winning today. Um, that would have helped things. But um, like you say, I think as a squad, we think we can, we go into every game thinking we can win. So there's no reason why we can't put a good run together. And like you say, if we can put a good run together, see where it takes us come the end of the season. A lot of games you know, to come to, home games in the week. You know, more come on Tuesday to start with, and you know, need to sort of get back on the on the horse and make sure yeah. that, that you win that game. Yeah, like you say, we we know we're good at home. Um, we have been since I've been here now for nearly three years, so um, we go into every home game thinking we can win. And win, um, like I say, maybe before I were away record like wasn't too good. I think we've picked that up recently under when the gaffers took over. Um, but yeah, we just we just need to we focus on the next game and hopefully we can get that win on Tuesday and put things right from today. And from your perspective, you just keep on working hard and when the chances come, you know, take your opportunity. That's, that's all I can do. Um, it's up to the gaffer to pick the team and. Um, I think, he's, like, like you say, we've been doing really well recently, so um, I haven't really had any complaints. And um, like you say, I've just been trying my hardest when I come on, and yeah, hopefully I just keep doing that.